The first communication that came out from Tacloban after Typhoon Haiyan was from a ham radio. In 2013, April Mercado was part of a United Methodist Church communications team coordinating relief for those affected by Typhoon Haiyan in the Philippines. All cell phone signals were, you know, down. I had difficulty contacting my family to tell them I'm okay. Mercado says the experience helped her realize how amateur radio can be a lifeline in a country that sees typhoons, earthquakes, and volcanic activity. We will be able to communicate back to the people in charge of medical assistance. We have a direct link to the Office of Civil Defense where we can directly provide them with data straight from the ground. We have a message to give to the nation. Fast forward to 2019 and this day of celebration. Five radio antennas have been constructed. This one in the backyard of a church superintendent in Dumaguete in the southern Philippines. This is um, the culmination of many months of work yeah. dealing with a lot of uh, government personalities, bureaucracy in the government. But yeah, it's through the grace of God that the antenna is up and we can start communicating to the community. Lay leaders and local pastors can use amateur radio for day-to-day -day communication and devotions and prayers are offered during net calls, regular check-in meetings of the radio community. Strong copy here in Dumaguete, Kuya Cesar. So he said we have a strong signal there in uh, Manila. Operating a ham radio requires a license and engineering skills. These pastors are getting hands-on training. You can use uh, wire here to connect your portable and then you can, you can bring it anywhere you want. So this is an emergency antenna, which is made from bamboo stick and a 19-inch copper rod. After a disaster, you can just pick up any stick that is available. In ham radio, height is might. The higher your antenna goes, the wider your scope is. With this type of antenna, you can reach a good 30-kilometer radius. The plan is to establish a church communications network throughout the Philippines. For these church communicators, amateur radio has opened a world of possibilities. A ham radio operator is like a fingerprint. My call sign is unique all over the world, so I'm not um, known as April, I'm known as Delta Victor One Yankee Indian November from the Philippines.